What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Panini Immaculate Baseball just sold out. This is a eight box case break. Pick your teams number seven. Now, again, guys, we did have to do a couple round of number blocks, which we did. Uh, here's the first one that includes Tampa Bay, Atlanta, St. Louis, Washington, Miami, and Philly. And then this one here that includes New York Yankees, Seattle, KC, Detroit, Wa uh, Chicago White Sox, and Toronto. So I'll put that one over here. And then we'll keep the other one over here. And there's everybody else that bought in straight up. Thank you, guys. So let me scan this out first, though. So that way we can scan out our stuff. And let's rip this open. Yeah, Adam, your Browns looking good in week two. Or week three, sorry. Should have been 3-0, right? Shouldn't have lost to the Jets, but hey, they did. But bounced back against uh, Pittsburgh, so. So far, so good. My thing is, what are you guys going to do when Deshaun Watson comes back to play? And, uh, and uh, then he just totally just sucks. Big time. Do you guys put back Brissette in? Because I have a feeling that's going to happen. Well, if they do, Adam, they do. Right? 28 out of 25. Starting off here is Justice Sheffield for Seattle. That's a random number block. Seattle. Uh, number 8 going to Michael L. He's better than our QB, Adam. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. It's funny, you know. All of a sudden, the Browns are, are much better and they have a better team. But that's okay. I, I see you're confident. I just let the scoreboard do the talking. That's all. And then we'll see who's talking at the end of the year. Christian Hernandez to 99. That's 70 out of 99. That is for the Chicago Cubs going to Jeremy. We got Jesus Sanchez, 16 out of 25. That's a 180 point. That is Miami. Nice patch right there. We have 16, spot 6. Ryan with that one. I love Mahomes any day, man. Uh, one out of 99, that's Kyle Lewis. Of course, man. Mahomes, I, I feel like he's going to be one of the best when it, it's all said and done. I hope he could win more rings. But, um, you know, we'll see, obviously. Seattle, that's going to go to Michael spot one. And Juan Yibez for St. Louis. That's 33 out of 49. That's for the Cardinals. Three. X-line with that one. I mean, I'm not saying just this year, Terry. It's just in general. Like, it's 
you, we need to, like, you know, I, I hated Tom Brady for so long, but you just kind of have to appreciate how many times he went to the Super Bowl, how many times he actually won is the craziness because I just feel like it's just going to be so hard. It is so hard to get back to the Super Bowl and to even win it again, you know? If we didn't see what the Patriots did this last, like, 15, 20 years with Tom Brady, I mean, I don't think we, had to, we wouldn't have seen it for so much longer, right? It's just so hard to go back and win. I mean, like I said, I, when I was a kid, I hated that dude, man. He broke my heart when I was a little kid right there, 2005. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we got one back, and I think really when the Eagles finally beat them in 2018, I kind of let go a little bit of that hatred. That's Miguel Sano, 5 out of 25. Um, that is Minnesota. Pat with that one. Yeah, look at Aaron Rodgers, you know. People say he's one of the best, and he, you know he'll go down as one of the best. He has definitely all the stats. He wins all the regular season games. But the fact that he's only been to, like, one Super Bowl his whole career. You know, how many times has he lost in the NFC Championship game? It's crazy. Like I said, it's it's so tough to go back to the Super Bowl unless you're Tom Brady. Okay, Brian Hayes right there. That's going to go to the Pirates and Jeff. And we got Patrick Maizeka to 76. That's going to the New York Mets, and that's Garrett. And then we have a redemption, Pavin Smith. That is Immaculate Material so uh, Socks. And uh, Pavin Smith, is that a Cardinal? Yes, Arizona Cardinals. I mean Cardinals, sorry. That's a Arizona Diamondbacks, I should say, sorry. Diamondbacks, that's going to Nico. I don't know why I said Cardinals for. I was thinking football, I think. Alright, there you go. Then we got a Yoan Adon, 7 out of 25. That's for Washington. RB for Tampa Bay. That is 7 going to X line. And then last one here, how about Jared Kelenic? Got called up, went two for three, got a home run yesterday. Look at that, that's eight out of 99. Seattle, eight is going to Michael. Next one. He's on the 10 day IL. Hopefully not, but I guess they won't know until 10 days from now, right? So, got more back soreness, I think. But, I mean, if Kalanick could start producing a little bit for the Mariners, that definitely would help out since they're a little banged up. I think they have another bigger hitter as well that's out there for them, too, that's injured. To 99, that's Aaron Nola for Philly. That is uh, 37. 7 is X-Line. Then Cincinnati, Joey Votto, and Daniel. We have a Glenn Otto, 99, uh, 11 out of 99. Yeah, Terry, I mean, carrying that team on his back, right? <laughs> Got to be sore a little bit, Curtis, with that one. 
Then we have a redemption for Sean Murphy. That is a Jumbo Bat Signatures. And uh, let's look that one up. That might be Oakland though, right? Yes. Oakland A's. I think Suarez is the one that's been is injured too, Terry. Both of them. If I'm correct. Sean Murphy, that is going to go to Oakland. Jacob with that one. Then Luis Gill. 4 out of 36. That is Yankees. That's four Yankees. Going to Johan. And then we got a Lars Nutbar for St. Louis. 58 out of 99. Nice RPA. Spot eight. St. Louis going to X line. All right, next one. Got Glenn Otto to 99. Then we got a Duke Schneider for the Dodgers. This is David with that one. Then Glenn Otto's for Texas. That's going to Curtis. Then we got a Luis Patino. 10 out of 25. That is for Tampa Bay. Zero, which is X line. Then we got a Corey Lee for Houston. Nathan with that one. Two of seven. All right, come on, I'm feeling something huge. Come on. Nice Otto Lopez RPA. That's three of ten for Toronto. Nice patch in there, too, as well. Three Toronto. Three, Toronto. Terry. There you go. On the board. And then Jose Altuve. It has to be, X-Line. has to be. I think so. Altuve. I mean, to hit that many home runs, you got to be a great hitter, right? I mean, he's top four in home runs. <laughs> that says much. But, yes, I get it, though. Obviously, there's a lot of players out there that are just natural-born hitters, you know, that don't need to get home runs, of course, or don't get home runs because, of course, they're just more for the hitting. But, yeah, no, I would think so. And that's Houston going to Nathan. I mean... Who's who's the top five? If you guys if you want to bring that up, then who's who's your top five? The next line. Same thing for you, Terry. I mean, even though. Banned for base from baseball, but you got to think the hit king is in there, right? I 
<laughs> I know, you did, Josh, you did. All right, we got Rafael Devers, 17 out of 49. That's Devers, Red Sox, Jonathan with that one. It looks like we got a dual Milwaukee. That's Paul Molitor and Robin Yao. Yeah, we're talking all time right now. I don't think we're talking top five like now. Like we're talking all time. Chato with that one. Another RPA to 10. 7 of 10, Romney Gonzalez. Nice patch there again. Chicago White Sox R&B with the Yankees. Seven going to Terry. Is that two RPAs for you already? Damn, out of ten? Redemption. Trevor Story. Shadow box signatures. And let's make sure to see that they don't have Trevor Story back in Colorado. And that's card number 51. That's Boston Red Sox. And if I'm not mistaken, hold on. Hold on. Which one's Shadow Box Signatures? I looked at the wrong one. Hold on one second. It's laundry tags. Yeah, card number fifty one is 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 uh Actually hard sorry, hold on. I was looking at fifty one, why is that? That's number twenty six, sorry. Card number twenty six is actually Colorado Rockies. So unfortunately that's gonna go to the Rockies. I was re I was looking at the wrong number actually. So Colorado Rockies with that one. That's going to go straight to Chad O. Ryan Mountcastle. That's for Baltimore, going to Michael All. And then, wow, what a beautiful patch. 11 out of 25 for the Chicago Cubs. That is Greg Deitchman. God damn, look at that patch. And that's going to Jeremy. I think that's the bird's eye, right? Or you mean the cub's eye? <laughs> Piece of the cub, that's right. For a second there, I was like, Terry, I was thinking, what? All right, let's, let's see if Pizzle can answer this. Pizzle, out of all the years of baseball, who is your top five hitters of all time? Top five. And is Pujols one of those top five? We all agreed that yes, he'd be top five, but it's kind of hard to have a top five. We have Andre Jackson, 3 of 10 for the Dodgers. Going to David, little button. And we have a Cleet Logo heel. Look at that. 2 of 2. That's another one for the Cubs there, Greg Deitchman. All 
All right, so Pizzo's saying top five power hitters, yes, but not top five pure hitters, all-around hitters. All right, then who's your top five power, and then who's your top five pure hitters? <laughs> O'Neal Cruz patch. I guess it would have to be two categories, right? But my thing is that wouldn't you be a, a, a like a all? I guess your your argument is that he's not like say Pools would not be an all around hitter. What are you saying? And out of five, Jaron Duran. Nice three-color patch, and that's for Boston going to Jonathan Kent. We have Drew Ellis, 14 out of 36. Nico with that one. And one out of five, Jim Palmer for Baltimore. Going to Michael. All right, so Terry's saying easy. Power would be Williams, Mantle, Aaron, Pujols, Miggy. Contact would be Ichiro, Rose, Murray, Boggs, and Gwynn. For sure for contact, you have to have Rose on there, even though obviously some people hate him. MLB, of course, you know, a little of the whole betting scandal, but he's got to be up there, right? He's your hit king. I think I could definitely see Ichiro up there, too, for sure. I guess I just have to look at all the stats, though. But it's a good debate, though. But, yeah, I guess I would probably have to separate it with power and just pure, like, you know, all-around all hitters for sure. There you go. He hit twice over 350. And that's for a big guy like that, right? Dane Dunning to 99 for Texas. Then we got Buster Posey uh, for San Francisco. Well, that's my thing. If if you're going to have 700 home runs, I mean, just by... If you've seen someone have 700 home runs, you have to assume he had a lot of good hit... He had a lot of good, probably, years at, at bats, right? I mean, unless you're striking out every single time when you're not hitting a home run. Which I guess could be the case for some power hitters, right? They strike out more often than not. Giants is Steve. And then Dane Dunning, Texas, that's Curtis. McCormick to 49. Mark Vientos. That is for the Mets and Garrett. We got Josh Lowe, 46 out of 49. Tampa Bay with that one. That's uh, RMB TV6. RMB TV6 is Ryan. And Jake Myers, 1099. His stuff should go up. On I mean, it should. I don't see why it wouldn't. But I have to assume... 
do baseball players get treated the same way like in hockey? Where like if you're not Canadian and you're like Ovechkin, that's like Russian, you know, a person from like Europe, they sell well, but they don't sell nearly as well as a Canadian player would like Connor McDavid, you know, or Sidney Crosby com- to compare. Does that happen in baseball? Is, is that maybe it? It's because he's not American. He doesn't go for a lot more. For sure, but my thing is that like he just hit something so historic. Why is it that his cards are so undervalued? I mean, I don't think he signs a lot. So I don't think his market is so flooded. Fifty out of ninety-nine. That is uh, to John Walker, and then Josh Lowe. Well, I'm assuming X Lines Cardinals didn't want to pay him money, right? Mike Bauman, 22 out of 67. Baltimore. Michael with that one. Dominic Smith for the Mets to 49. I mean, unless the Angels just made him a freaking deal that they couldn't refuse, and the Cardinals were like, yeah, sorry. We're not making that deal. Especially at the time. Rodolfo Castro. So, you were saying, you, so were you saying next time that he wasn't worth it? Or just the franchise couldn't afford to do that. 23 out of 99. That's uh, Philly or Pirates, sorry. That's Jeff. And last hit is Spencer Strider. 29 out of 46. I know, and the crazy thing is that he's played this long. <laughs> the fact is that he actually pretty much almost played out the whole contract. And that's Atlanta, that's R&B, 29 out of 46. Uh, Atlanta, 9 going to X-Line. And there you go, folks. That was the break. That was Immaculate Baseball. Uh, Pikachu number 7 in the books. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, guys. Thanks.